Once upon a time, in the vibrant city of Florence, Italy, there lived a young man named Guccio Gucci. He hailed from a modest family and had a keen eye for fashion and craftsmanship. Born in 1881, Guccio was raised in an atmosphere of hard work and dedication, with his father being a leather goods artisan. As Guccio grew older, he became captivated by the elegance and luxury that surrounded the elite travelers and wealthy locals in Florence. He dreamt of creating exquisite leather goods that would be cherished by people all around the world. With this vision in mind, Guccio Gucci embarked on a journey that would transform his life forever. In the early 1920s, Guccio Gucci opened a small shop that specialized in crafting high-quality leather luggage and accessories. His products quickly gained recognition for their impeccable craftsmanship and stylish designs, earning the admiration of the upper echelons of society. Guccio's business thrived, and he expanded his collection to include handbags, shoes, and other leather goods. The brand's signature motifs, such as the intertwined G's and the iconic horse bit, became synonymous with luxury and sophistication. Celebrities, movie stars, and royalty from all over the world soon adorned themselves with Gucci's creations. Despite the brand's initial success, it faced its share of challenges. After the end of World War II, Italy experienced economic difficulties and raw materials for luxury goods were in short supply. However, Guccio's determination and ingenuity allowed the brand to persevere through these tough times. In the 1950s, Guccio's three sons, Aldo, Vasco, and Rodolfo, joined the family business and expanded it globally. Gucci boutiques emerged in other fashion capitals like Milan, New York, London, and Paris. Each boutique became a hub of luxury, attracting fashion-forward individuals seeking the best in Italian craftsmanship. As time went on, Gucci began incorporating innovative materials into their designs, such as bamboo handles for handbags and printed fabrics with the brand's logo, further solidifying their unique identity in the world of luxury fashion. However, with success came internal conflicts within the Gucci family. Disputes over creative direction and financial control led to tensions that threatened the future of the brand. In the 1980s, the family sold its shares, and Gucci experienced a period of decline, with its brand image diluted by subpar products and inconsistent management. The turning point came in the 1990s when an investment group led by Maurizio Gucci, the grandson of Guccio Gucci, gained control of the brand. Maurizio hired renowned designer Tom Ford as the creative director, and together they revived Gucci with a bold and provocative vision. Tom Ford's innovative designs featuring sleek lines, sensual fabrics, and daring cuts revitalized the brand's image, transforming it into a symbol of modern luxury. Gucci quickly regained its status as one of the most desirable and influential fashion houses in the world. Today, Gucci stands tall as a global fashion powerhouse, continuing to push boundaries with its eclectic designs, embracing a mix of tradition and contemporary trends. Gucci boutiques can be found in every major city worldwide, and its runway shows are eagerly awaited by fashion enthusiasts and celebrities alike. The story of Gucci teaches us that passion, determination, and staying true to one's creative vision can turn dreams into reality. From its humble beginnings in Florence to its status as an iconic luxury brand, Gucci's journey remains an inspiring tale in the world of fashion and entrepreneurship.